Hey guys, Grow Mike Panda, Binding Warrior Martial Arts, and I'm actually filming this in my garage. Uh, it's pretty much where we train every single week, and uh, I'm about to get a workout in, but before I go work out, I thought I would make a quick video uh, showing my martial arts garage gym. Now, if you guys go on YouTube, you'll type in garage gym, and you'll see like hundreds upon hundreds of videos of people showing off their garage gym setups, uh, but I don't think there's many videos showing a martial arts gym home setup. Um, and I want to talk about why I created this space, um, what I did to create it, uh, kind of an idea of how much it cost, and some of my philosophy behind not only why you should have your own home martial arts training space, but why I created one, as well as what I try to accomplish with mine. So I get a lot of questions as to why I started uh, a martial arts garage gym space. So um, a few years ago, if you guys follow us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever, you'll know that you'll see these videos of us training at different gyms. And one video set of videos were in a CrossFit gym, the other one were in a boxing gym, the other one were in like a kickboxing aerobic studio. I mean, we trained all over the place uh, in 2020, as we all know, the, the pandemic hit and it forced me to basically be at home and I couldn't go teach in these locations anymore. And in addition to that, I began to reflect on what was really important to me. I went through a lot of uh, life altering events. Maybe I'll talk about the specifics of those in, in another video, but um, I went through a lot of life altering events um, that forced me to really think about what was really important. And in during the quarantine, I realized that I wanted to be home more with my family. And I, I didn't want to spend all of my waking hours, you know, just at my day job and going straight to teach at night. As much as I love martial arts, I realized that when I would leave my day job with Kickstart Kids, look at them up if you don't know who they are, um, I would leave from my day job and go straight to teaching and I wouldn't really see my family several times during the week. And at the time we had our first son, my wife and I had our first son, and I realized I really wasn't spending a ton of time with him. And so this kind of caused an internal conflict because I wanted to be a successful martial arts instructor, but I also wanted to be a successful family man. And I wanted to make sure that those two things were not mutually exclusive. I wanted to make sure that I could have both. And so during quarantine, I realized, you know what? If I can't teach in these places, I might as well bring it to me. And I might as well bring the students to me. And I'm very fortunate that I have a very loyal, devoted group of students that comes out here to train every single week. Um, and uh, this is basically where we've been training this entire time uh, since then. And I'm gonna explain to you uh, some of the philosophy behind it, uh, some of the things that this home gym contains. Um, as well as why I think every guy should have their own martial arts home gym. All right, so when I designed this garage martial arts gym, um, I had a few uh, goals in mind, right? One, I wanted to be closer to my family. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure I had a place to train my men and my students, but I also wanted to make sure I also had a garage, <laughs> okay? So I've been going on YouTube in the last few months and I noticed that there's a lot of videos regarding my garage gym setup and my home garage gym and they're all awesome. There's, there's some pretty beautiful ones, ones that look like professionally made gyms and they're filled with weight racks and barbells and dumbbells and all these things, but the problem is they're just gyms. Right? And as much as I wanted a martial arts training space, I needed a place to park my cars. Uh, you guys know I live in Texas, so uh, the weather changes almost every five to 10 minutes here. Um, you could have a beautiful sunny day like this and in an hour we can get a tornado. You know, And there's no real way to track those tornadoes properly. They just kind of pop up out of nowhere, it seems. Um, so I needed to be able to move my cars in from tornadoes, hail, all the crazy weather we get here in Texas. I needed to be able to park immediately. So I had to go from being a martial arts dojo to a garage in a split second, right? So um, this garage was designed for that in mind. So if you actually notice in a second, actually the flooring here is horse stall mat, right? And uh, the horse stall mats, you guys, I've kind of angled the camera just a little bit down so you can see what I'm saying. Uh, but horse stall mats are essentially exactly what they sound like. They're designed for horse stalls, right, in farms. And these are very popular in uh, CrossFit gyms. These are very popular in different weightlifting facilities. Uh, they're a very budget-friendly item. You can get these at Tractor Supply, get them used. I got these used offline, uh, Facebook Marketplace, as you'll find out. Uh, but I needed these mats specifically because I needed a place that was soft surface to do takedowns on and even to put the grappling mats on. But I also need a place where I can park my car. These actually support the weight of both of my family vehicles, uh, which is a huge, huge plus, all right? So again, I wanted a garage gym, a garage martial arts center to train my men, but I also needed a place to park my vehicles. And that was kind of the inspiration for the design of this space and why you see everything kind of the way it is. All right, guys, so I'll just give you a quick tour of uh, what this training space entails. Um, I'll start over to my left. So you've probably seen this box. Some of our videos has a bunch of holes in it. This is actually a projectile target. Um, as you guys know, I'm an Atienza Kali instructor, so um, I like to practice projectiles as part of our training, knife projectiles and things of that nature. Uh, so that's the 
projectile box over there. Those three orange dots are uh, primarily for marksmanship training. So if I'm doing any kind of dry firing with a pistol, uh, any type of, uh, you know, I really want to get the groupings tight on the knife work um, or on the knife throwing, that those three dots are used for that. Um, now over here is actually, I have my the, the waiver in a QR code. So if a new student comes in, they can easily just go grab their smartphone, scan the code. Uh, our very uh, good student and uh, Kuya, Kuya Jeremy and Carlos, who I know is probably watching this, he printed this out for us. And uh, make sure that they can sign the waivers uh, so they can start training, okay? Uh, this is just an old, empty, clean garbage bin that I found. Uh, just started putting some, you know, training weapons in it. Um, so my son, I think my son put his bicycle helmet in there and some of his toys, but that's just the reality of teaching out of your house. Uh, I got rattan sticks. I think I got some nunchucks in there, some or some chocos somewhere in there. Uh, but that's just something I use for, to carry a lot of the weapons that I use regularly that kind of get a lot of, to take a beating, so to speak, right? Um, I have uh, some strength equipment here as well. So you'll notice I got these on it steel clubs. Uh, 15 pounds, they don't sound, 15 pounds does not sound like it's a lot, but trust me, it feels like you're picking up Molnir when you pick up those things. And uh, I got these around the time my eldest son was born because um, this actually mimics, I'm trying to pick this up real quick. Um, this actually mimics the, uh, the grip, obviously, and the strength that you would need to wield a heavy weapon or some type of club, okay? Um, now, over here is a sandbag, the 60 pound sandbag. I actually, I've made a few sandbags in the past. This one was actually bought off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and yeah, so that's just, uh, it's just, it's about 60 pounds. I use it for strength training. You've probably seen this in my previous videos. Uh, I like to use it for lifting. It's really good for jujitsu, really good for grappling training and just overall strength development. Uh, that's a messenger bag <laughs> that I have. I just have those all over the place. Um, this is a staff rack and a screamer stick rack, as you guys can see. Um, I actually had this, I bought this offline pretty cheap actually. And I just, I have everything just kind of, uh, lined up here. This way I can keep all the sticks kind of off the ground and out of that. Uh, trash can looking thing uh, makes it look a little cleaner makes it look a little nicer um, This is a as you can see this is a sword rack. I actually put some clubs here as well I got some Atienza Kali sword trainers there um, Some uh, different uh, sticks of different length clubs of different lengths and sizes different woods type wood types. Um, here's a mace bell uh, this is a 15 pound mace belt. Again, very similar to the steel clubs in that I can utilize um, these devices for very weapon specific movement. So it teaches me this, it develops the same movements and teaches me the same movements and develops the same type of strength that I would need to wield a sword or a long staff or something of that nature. All right. I got two kettlebells, this 20 pound, the silver one in the back, that's my wife's. Um, and that uh, black one in the front, that's my 40 pound. It's very uh, trusty. I bought it like 10 years ago and it's still holding up. Um, I have these on it battle ropes. I use that for battle rope training um, as well as some Atienza Kali training. Um, that is uh, right armor. You see the Atienza Kali logo there. We use that in our uh, uh, training as well. If you're an Atienza Kali guy, you know what we use that for. Um, this is a bob dummy. I just put the mask here, just I guess for decoration's sake, but um, I kind of did it because frankly, I can see Bob has gotten a lot of use and uh, He's gotten a little, he's been hit a lot over quarantine. Let's just put it that way. So uh, the neck really isn't staying on that much, uh, but I still use this for uh, this Bob for light work. I have another Bob in the back that was gifted to me uh, from a former student who was very kind and generous to uh, give us his Bob for free. But the Bob that's in here is the XL model. It was bought, used off Facebook marketplace. Um, I can do groin strikes. I can do throat strikes, eye jabs, ear slaps, a lot of the stuff that you can't do on a traditional heavy back. All right. Um, here uh, I got the flags. So I got the Filipino flag because I'm Filipino uh, and I got the American flag because I'm American and I got the Texas flag because I am also Texan. So um, I have all these three flags. I like to I embrace culture. I like to remind us that, you know, we have to be proud of where we come from. And these three flags just represent that for me. Okay. In the corner, we got the equipment. So we got the pads, we got tie pads, some focus mitts in there. Uh, we got some, my, my son's boxing gloves, those little red ones over there. You can probably see those. Um, I got some shin guards, kick shields. I got a bunch of stuff in there, guys. But you, basically, we use this a lot for our empty hand training, uh, a lot of our conditioning training. Uh, our stuff is in there. Okay. Um, these mats here, uh, these are actually uh, roll up mats from Easy Flex. Uh, they sell really good mats. These are the home models. So uh, I can actually take these and then roll them out to this floor. Uh, and it comes out to be uh, 10 by 10, 10, uh, 10 feet by 10 feet. And I can actually do jujitsu on them. So we train a lot of our jujitsu here. Um, and this is, these are the mats that we utilize. And I might roll them out in a second to show you. Uh, but those are the mats. All right, guys. So again, these are the Easy Flex mats uh, that we're standing over there in the corner. Again, as you can see, they don't really take up 
that much space, all right, uh, which is very convenient for me as a guy who's training out of the garage. And so even though they cost quite a bit, uh, they were a great investment. I'm probably going to get more as our jiu-jitsu program grows here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, they're clean, super easy, super light, actually. I could pick it up with one arm, put it over my shoulder, <laughs> and just kind of carry it around where I needed it to, need it to go. Uh, but yeah, a lot of space. Um, I'm definitely going to get more of these. These are fantastic. But I definitely want to make sure I showed off the jiu-jitsu mats. Now up here, you probably saw this in one of my other videos. Uh, this is actually a homemade pull-up bar setup. The pipes were actually at least these, um, the corners here and the pipe, the main pipe horizontally going across uh, were provided to me from one of my students, Jeremy and Carlos again. Um, and uh, I bought these two, I wanna say these are 12 inch pipe lengths across uh, on the sides rather, uh, side by side. Uh, I got those from Lowe's and I got all the flanges and all that stuff from Lowe's as well. And I had a local handyman who lives in the neighborhood. He was kind enough to do this for me for like 20 bucks. Uh, so he, I, I'm not very handy <laughs> with tools, uh, but he was kind enough to bolt these to the ceiling and I've been using this for the last four months or so and it's held up wonderfully. I, I'll, I'll actually hang up uh, in my, uh, my gymnastic rings from here to do my strength work. I'll hang up other items. I can even hang a heavy bag here, I think, if I wanted to. I wouldn't try it, but I've seen people do it. But uh, I, I know that this could probably support that weight because I'm about 200 pounds, and this thing seems to take my weight. <laughs> so, and I've been using it for quite a bit. Uh, so definitely, if you guys can, have a pull-up bar set up that's anchored to the ceiling because it gives you a lot more freedom than those door jam ones. Um, and they seem to last a lot longer, and you could actually do a lot more on these uh, than the ones that you install in your door. Down here, I got a box fan because we're in Texas and it's about 100 degrees as I'm recording this. That black tower over there is actually a heater. So in the winter, if it gets a little too cold, my son will like to go play here. Uh, and oftentimes he'll get a little too cold and I'm all for toughening him up. But sometimes you need to have a heater for him if he stays here for an extended period of time for his own safety. So um, I prefer to have that heater just in case. Uh, during quarantine, we actually did a lot of uh, you know, our meals, you know, Christmas dinner and even New Year's dinner was in this garage because of the open air circulation to prevent, uh, you know, spreading the virus. So uh, we had to eat meals here and these two devices helped in both climates <laughs> while that was happening. Um, now you got the whiteboard, you probably see this in our videos. Um, I actually bought this used off Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, you probably hear the word Facebook Marketplace a lot. It becomes your best friend, I believe, once you're starting a home gym setup. Uh, but the whiteboard is for two purposes. One, I'm a middle school teacher by day, so it allows me to write down my thoughts, my notes, and it gives the, uh, the students a visual, uh, uh, their ability to visualize the words and the notes that they need to take for their, themselves and their learning. But also it divides all the family stuff that's in the back. And I'm gonna show you these other, basically my son's toys. We got, you can see some coolers sticking out of the bottom there. Uh, but you know, I got a bunch of stuff. We have two freezers back there. We got stuff for the family. It's all family stuff back there. But basically I can have the academic aesthetic basically and the academic function of a whiteboard. Uh, but also it conceals all the crazy family stuff in the back, <laughs> all right? Just to be totally honest with you. All right, there's a Wavemaster XXL. I bought this used uh, from a friend that I used to teach out of her uh, aerobic kickboxing gym. Uh, she uh, sold it to me for like, I wanna say like a hundred bucks. And so I took advantage of it. Uh, we used to use these in our old facility, but I took one of them for myself. And a lot of people like these and a lot of people don't like these. Um, I personally enjoy them. Uh, they're not the best heavy bag, but for a garage gym setup, it's exactly what I needed, okay? Um, here are the banners, so Atien Zakali, by Anwar Martial Arts, Cosmo Machado Jiu Jitsu. Uh, these are the systems that we're training and teaching. Um, and so I wanna make sure that in our videos, we had a backdrop uh, to properly uh, you know, promote these systems. Uh, now, some people may have noticed this. Now, this is actually a handmade wooden plaque, uh, nice and polished. Obviously, it's the state of Texas, but it is uh, with the colors of the Filipino flag. Um, and I found this from uh, a woman, or her, it's a husband-wife duo, um, and the husband makes uh, custom Texas wooden carvings like this. Um, and it was fantastic. I saw it online on Facebook. My sister-in-law showed it to me and I got in contact with the, uh, the husband and wife. And I said, listen, I gotta get one of these. And they actually live only a town or two over from us uh, where I live. And I went there on a weekend and picked it up and I've been very happy with it ever since. It's beautiful. Um, and if you guys are interested, uh, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email, and I will gladly give you their information so you can get one yourself, especially if you're proud to be Filipino and proud to be from the state of Texas, okay? Uh, this is a was a four-tier sword rack. Uh, I'll be totally honest with you, this thing broke off. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new one soon, I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, but uh, we were training really hard and um, 
me and a student, we were, we were going at it pretty hard and he bumped into it and broke and not a big deal because I got that giant sword rack over there. Not a big deal. Now, so. I believe the flooring is probably the most important investment I made in the beginning because this was just a normal concrete garage and you know we were fighting on it, we were sparring on it, I was dropping kettlebells on it, and it was damaging the concrete and we didn't want to do that, right? So um, it's also not good to do takedowns on concrete all the time. Uh, even if you can break fall, not good for the body in the long run. Uh, so I bought these used stall mats off Facebook Marketplace. So the first six were bought, as you can see, they have a different, little bit of a different design. Um, they have these little diamond type, these little tiny ridges in it for traction. And the uh, top six are just smooth, okay? Um, not really any reason why, just that I, I bought six from one distributor and I bought the other six from another guy, um, other distributor. Um, and they didn't really exactly match up, but overall the aesthetic looks perfect. And I think these are fantastic because um, a lot of people when they look, they think about a martial arts gym, they think about things to hit or things to roll on or, you know, whatever. Um, but we also need things to stand on and move on. And I, I feel that these uh, horse stall mats were a perfect, uh, perfect addition and perfect foundation for this home gym. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's my home martial arts gym setup. Again, this is where I train my guys every week. Uh, this is where you'll see us filming our videos. And I hope this gave you some ideas to create your own home martial arts gym setup. Again, it doesn't look exactly like this, but for the systems we train in and that we practice, uh, this seems to work just fine, all right? Uh, so if you guys have any comments, maybe some suggestions, please comment below. Uh, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email, bandywarrior at gmail.com. Uh, but I hope to see you guys training with us soon. Take care, God bless, be the hero in your life.